Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Day number three. Unbelievable. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you. Let's see, we are 11, great. I'm going to call attendance. So you tell me present as I call you. No problem with the platform, right? No. Perfect. So you tell me, President, Bella Lisbeth, Bella, Carlos Roberto, Carlos Roberto, Darling, no here, Bella. No. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Darling Jasmine. Darling. Darling, hello. Denis Adonai. Denis. Edgar Eduardo. Present teacher. Gabriela Stephanie, Gabriela Stephanie, no here. Herman Agustín, present teacher, Jessica Raquel, good evening, present teacher, hello, Carla María, present teacher. Kaylee Marcela. Good evening, teacher. Present. Marcelo Vladimir. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mauricio. Mauricio Giovanni. Miguel Efraín. Present, teacher. Moisés Elías. Present, teacher. Norma Maritza. Norma Maritza, you here? Pedro Antonio. Pedro. Ronald Josué. Ronald Josué. Sabrina Lisset. Tamara Lisset. Waldemar. Present teacher. Walter Antonio. Present teacher, I drive to my house. Okay, Walter. Well, nice, nice. Hoy sí, verdad, ya somos más. Well, I'm going to share the, the presentation here. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, November 22nd, and today uh, we are going to talk about possibility, right? When we use can to ask for information, and we use can to, to talk about possibility, as it can have some other uses like ability, possibility and permission, we are going to talk about all the uses of can. Okay? 
ability, possibility, and permission. Also, when you want to ask for information. Check. This is the objective for today. Participants will be able to ask some questions using can for asking for information, as well as, well as for possibility correctly in an activity in the module, okay? So, I have an exercise. Let me see, I don't know why um, you're not supposed to see the answer, right? Give me a second. Okay. We will make a review of have and has that we were talking about yesterday. Can be have, has, or doesn't have, or don't have, depending on the subject that we are using, right? See, just one more. Now. Well, we have the sentences here. What you're going to do, as I said, this is a review of yesterday's class. When we were talking about have to, we were talking about obligation. Yes, Pedro. Okay, okay, Pedro. So, yeah, we were, we're talking about obligation. We were talking about obligation yesterday. So we were using have to, has to, don't have to, and doesn't have to, right? So look at the sentences. Let's complete the sentences using the correct option. Have to, has to, don't have to, or doesn't have to. Number one, teacher. Huh? Number one? Uh, they, they don't have to write a test. They don't have to. Well, they have to write it. But it's, the teacher has to write a test, but the student doesn't have to write a test. Okay. Number second. Uh -huh. She has to. She has to. Clean her desk. Mm -hmm. Or or don't have to. She don't or have she to. She don't have to. Or she doesn't have to. Uh, excuse me. She doesn't have to. Okay. So it can be affirmative or negative, right? She has See, to clean okay. her desk. Thank you. Or she doesn't. Sorry for my apostrophe that it appears on that side. Okay. She has to clean her desk or she doesn't have to clean her desk. What about number three? Ken and Liz? Have to help his have. work. No, have, sorry. Ken and Liz have to learn English words. Mm -hmm. Or, don't or have to. they don't have to learn English words. Okay, what about number four? Andy? Number four, teacher, Andy has to help his brother. Okay. Andy has to help his brother or... Andy don't have to help his brother. Their person, Andy... Doesn't. 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 Oh, yes, doesn't. Andy doesn't have to help his brother, right? He has to help his brother or he doesn't have to help his brother. What about five? We. We, we. What do you use with we? We uh, have to, we have to do our homework. Mm -hmm. We have to do we, our We don't have, we don't, we, we don't have to, we don't have to do, we don't have to do our homework. Exactly. We have to do our homework or we don't have to do our homework. Mm -hmm. And number six. He has to write with a pencil. 
Aqui mm has -hmm. to write with a pencil or he ha he, he doesn't he doesn't to doesn't. write with a pencil. Uh -huh. He doesn't have to write with a pencil. He has to write with a pencil or he doesn't have to write with a pencil. What about number seven? I have to. I have to feed the hamster. I have to feed the hamster. Yes, I have to feed the hamster or I don't have to mm -hmm. feed the hamster. Exactly, I don't have to feed the hamster. Number eight. You. You have to take photos. You have to take photos or. You, or you don't have to take photos. Exactly, you don't have to take photos. Very good. Victoria. Has to has to read the newspaper. Read the newspaper or doesn't or, have to read the newspaper. Exactly. Victoria has to read the newspaper or Victoria doesn't have to read the newspaper. The teacher. The teacher has to send a text message. Mm -hmm. The teacher has to send a text message or the teacher doesn't don't have let me see <laughs> doesn't doesn't have to send a text message exactly the teacher doesn't have to send a text message or the teacher has to send a text message okay repeat after me they have to write a test they don't have to write a test. They don't, they don't, don't have they to don't write a test. Write a test. Right. A she test. has to clean her desk. She has to clean the, her uh, desk. To clean her she desk. doesn't have to clean her desk. She doesn't that have to have clean her, her desk. desk. Can at least have, to have to clean her learn desk. English words. Can at least have, have to learn English can words. Have, have to learn English words. Can at least don't have to learn English words. Can at least don't can have to learn English words. To learn English words. And he has to help his brother. And he has to Andy help has his brother. And he doesn't have to help his brother. And it doesn't have, have, to, have, help have to help these brothers. We have to do our homework. We have, we to, have do to do our, our homework. homework. We don't have to do our homework. We don't have, we don't to, have do to do our homework. homework. He has to write with a pencil. He has to write, he with, has a pencil. To write with a pencil. He doesn't have to write with a pencil. He doesn't have, to, doesn't write with a have pencil. to write with a pencil. I have to feed the hamster. I have to, I have I to have feed, the, feed hamster. the hamster. I don't have to feed the hamster. I don't have, I to, feed don't the have, the have to feed the hamster. the hamster. You have to take photos. You have, you to, have take to, photos. to take photos. You don't have to take photos. You don't have, you to, don't take have to take photos. Victoria has to read the newspaper. Victoria has, Victoria to, read has newspaper. to read the newspaper. Victoria doesn't have to read the newspaper. Victoria doesn't Victoria have, doesn't to, read have to read the newspaper. The teacher has to send a text message. The teacher has to send a text message. The teacher doesn't have to send a text message. The teacher doesn't have to send a text message. Okay, very good. Do you have any questions about this topic? Hmm? Remember? Teacher, excuse me, hamster is the animal. 
the animal. Uh -huh. Okay, the thank you. Remember that if it is affirmative, that means there is obligation. And if it is negative, that means there is no obligation, right? There is obligation, affirmative. If you put it in negative, that means that there is no obligation. Any question? Mm -hmm. No question. No question. Okay. Nice. And here we have some other examples, right? And in some cases, you will need to make a question. And then you say, do you have to complete the platform? Do you have to complete the platform? Yes, right. Yes. But check. In the answer, you don't say, yes, I have to. You say, yes, I do. Verdad? Does your boss have to work on the weekend? Yes, he does. Oh, yes, she does. Your boss can be a woman, right? Yes, he does. Oh, yes, she does. I, what do you have to do? I have to work from Monday to Friday. I have to work from Monday to Friday. I don't have to work on Sunday. Do you have to work on Sunday? Do you have to work on Sunday? Yes? No, teacher. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, yes. teacher. Okay, so also so. Early. Do you have to work every day from Monday to Sunday? Yes, I have to work. Okay. Now, we can say Miguel has to work from Monday to Sunday, right? Miguel yes. has to work from Monday to Sunday. And Maria has to work from Monday to Saturday. She doesn't have to work at night. Do you have to work at night? Hmm? Do you yes, she does. Yeah, okay. And what about you? Do you have to work at night? Do no, you... I don't. No, I don't. she doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, I don't. You, you. do you have to work at night? No, I don't. No, no, I don't. I don't. No. Does Miguel have to work on Sunday? Does Miguel yes, yes, he, does. He, he does? Yes, he, he does. does. Yes, he does. Exactly. So check. If the question is with you here, do you? Then you say, yes, I do. I do. Does he? Yes, he does. He does. Does okay. she? Yes, she does. Do they have to work on Sunday? Yes, they do. Oh, no, I don't. No, they don't, right? Depending if the question or if the answer is negative. Any question here? Mm -hmm. Do you have to send emails? Do you have to send emails? You? No, yes, no, I, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you have to travel in your work? Do you have to travel? No, I don't. No, no I, I don't. don't. Okay. Do you have to clean your office? No. No, no I, I don't. don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Do you have to be in meetings every week? Do you have to be in meetings every week? No, I don't. Okay. Great. No, I don't. Excellent. Well, we're done with that topic. And now we are going to enter to talk about one different topic, right? 
I want you to get some uh, containers because in this unit, we are going to be using, we're going to talk about containers. And remember, we're talking about characteristics too. Check, cans, cans. Estas son cans. Más tarde, vamos a hablar del modal que es can. Can, pero esta es can, ¿sí? Can is this one. Boxes. Boxes, boxes, repeat, cans, 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 boxes, 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 bottles, 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 jars, jars, jars. For example, uh, well, I have a bottle of water, bottles, bottles, bath. Uh, you buy the coffee, you buy the coffee in a jar. Yeah? Your coffee is, it comes in a jar. Now, what things can you stop? Remember, can, can, right? can, can. Things we can stop. What can we stop? We can stop balloons, chocolate, cards, wine. We can stop teddy bears or stop animals. We can stop rings, cushions. We can stop candy, perfumes, fancy things, different things. We can stop pile in this, uh, we can, so check, pile. We can stop fancy things. Here we say pile. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer vimos la palabra pile? ¿Qué significa? Apilar. Apilar. Amontonar. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is stack? Sure. Mm -hmm. Y pile y stack tendrán la misma, el mismo significado. Mm, not exactly. What is a stack? Pila, sí. dice como, yo entiendo que es como apilar, creo también. Mm -hmm. Estivable. Es estivarlo uno sobre otro. Ajá. Where can I stack the boxes? Apilar. Apilar. Is it similar to pile? A ver. A ver. Es que uno es de montón y el otro es de apilar, o sea, como uno encima de otro. Uh -huh. They are y el like otro similar. es como amont amontonar, o sea, no hay un orden. Ajá, exactly. Esta aquí es a pile of objects, typically on that is neatly arranged. Si están bien arregladitas, se han fijado que hay algunas warehouse que ponen así, una cosa sobre otra, pero bien ordenadito. Eso es stack. Porque cuando usted almacena las cosas así apiladas, pero que no las va a ir a sacar mañana, hasta las va a tener ahí por unos sus tres meses y necesita que ocupar bien su espacio. Entonces, las apila ordenadamente, right? Ahora, pile podría, o sea, es apilar también, pero no necesariamente in a neat, in a neat way. So, check Orden a heap or, of things laid or lying one on top of another. So, just putting one thing over the other one, but not necessarily or in order. Check another definition. Uh, of a group of people getting to or out of a vehicle or space in a disorganized manner. Ten of us piled into the minibus. O sea, se apilaron todos uno por encima de otro. No necesariamente en forma ordenada. So that would be the difference. If you say stack, apilado, sí. 
pero apilado en forma bonita. ¿Sí? Que se ve en orden, porque usted va a sacar la cosa hasta dentro de tres meses. Apilar, ya pile, una cosa sobre otra, como cayó, porque no importa, mañana la vamos a venir a sacar. Right? So, when we talk about these things, that's why you don't pile them, just pack them. Right? Porque si los apila, pero en forma ordenada, para que no se le maltrate. Right? Now, where can, can I stack the boxes? And then you say, you can stack the boxes in the warehouse. You can stack the boxes in the warehouse. You can stack the boxes in that corner. See? So you, you are asking for a specific place to pile your things, but in a nice and neat way. Okay. What else can you pile? What else can you pile? Mm -hmm. What else can you pile? I, I can oh, what pile. Else can you stack? Okay, I can pile balloons, candy, okay. uh, yeah. cars, mm -hmm. teddy, teddy bears, rings. Yes. Uh, well, I think so. Okay. okay. What about books? Can you stack books? Oh, yes. I, I yeah, can right? stack Book. Uh -huh. You can stack books. All things that will not get damaged with the time, right? Those things that you can keep, but can the, the time can pass and they will continue in good condition. Then you can stack them. But we cannot stack meat or cheese because they will get damaged, right? Or if you stack them, it has to be in a fridge or in a room that is really, really cold. Okay. Now, check this. Uh, remember, we're talking about stacking things. Where can we stack tablets? Or how can we stack tablets? Can we pile the tablets? Hmm? Can we pile them? Can we put them in a pile? Una tablet sobre otra y otra y otra y otra y otra. Can I do that? Yes. I, yes, I do. We how many? Do. How many? How many tablets can I stack? Um, Two thousand. No problem if I put uh, one no. like this. Imagine this is a tablet and I put another, 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 another. No problem. Maybe uh, 25 tablets. 25 would be okay without getting them damaged. Okay. Now check. When we talk about uh, these things like tablets, television, refrigerators, we have some features, right, to follow. These features will be the ways, the dimension, and the quantity, right? Weight, the weight of a tablet, 170 grams, yeah? The television, 112.43 pounds. Eh, eh, fíjense que la abreviation siempre va a ser como que fuéramos a decir libras, pero en inglés usted dice pounds. Mm -hmm. These are pounds. These are grams. Yeah, grams. And here we have inches. 
inches. Yeah, centimeters, no problem with the centimeters, right? We have centimeters. Okay, how much does the television weigh? How much does the television weigh? Who can tell me? 340 pounds. Um, 112? Pure, uh, pure 43 pounds. Mm -hmm. How much does it weigh? Weight is this one, right? 112 pounds, 112.43 pounds. Mm -hmm. How much does a refrigerator weigh? How much do refrigerators weigh? 340 pounds. Aha, uh -huh. we have one that is 340 pounds and another that is 380 pounds. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's the dimension of the tablets? What's the dimension? 19.3 centimeters. Centimeters. Aha, uh -huh. times. Oh. Esto lo decimos times. No vamos a decir pair, vamos a decir times. Times. Sí. Then you say 19.3 centimeters time, 13.7 centimeters time, 1.03 centimeters. Sí. Now. How or what is the dimension of the television? Only 1.3 inches times 26.7 inches. inches. Okay, very good. And what about the refrigerator? 48. What is the dimension? 48. 48. Uh, one. One eighth. How do you say? Uh, one eighth. Octavo. Eight. Un octavo es one eighth. One eighth. 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 Mm -hmm. eighth is like this. Um, es el ordinal. Octavo, ¿verdad? Eighth. Eighth. Forty-eight. One eighth. Forty-eight. One eighth. One eighth. eighth. Si fuera un cuarto, sería a quarter, right? 48, a quarter. A half. 48, a half. A half, a quarter, one eighth. Eighth, un octavo. How many tablets are there? How many tablets? Thousand. Thousand. Two? Thousand. Hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred tablets. How many televisions are there? One hundred. One hundred televisions. How many refrigerators are there? Fifty refrigerators. Fifty refrigerators. Very good. There are 50 refrigerators, right? Now, let's move. You have a conversation that you're going to read and then answer this question. Go to your manos. Go to your manos. Well, it says conversation, but what you're going to see is the, the description, right? Again. Mm -hmm. Look at the pictures. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Can one person store all the televisions oneself alone? Oneself means solito. What do you think? 
si a usted le tocara, no, ¿verdad que no? So you say no. He can't do it. No, he can't. No, he can't. can't. No, he can't. That uh, here we're talking about possibility now. Pues no puede, no puede, no porque no tenga la habilidad, sino porque no es posible, ¿verdad? A menos que le den toda la semana para hacer. How many televisions we have? One hundred. In a week, maybe, right? If you have a complete week to store all the televisions, probably. Where can you stock 50 refrigerators? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? Where? In the warehouse. In the warehouse, exactly. You can store 50 refrigerators in the warehouse. That's the only place. In the warehouse. Can you store the tablets on shelves? What's a shell? Saben que es un shell? Un estante. Un estante, como una repisa, mm. verdad? Can you store the, te the tablets on shelves? Mm. No, I can. It's not safe, right? It's not safe. They can fall down. No, you can't. Okay. No, you can't. You cannot store the tablets on chips. Any questions here? Hmm. Any questions? La última teacher, o sea, si es así no la no la logra entender, o sea, number three. The uh -huh. question is if you can uh, store store uh -huh. guardar, verdad, o almacenar sí. the exactly. tablets on shelves. So, Los shelves son repisas. Por, por eso sería so, sobre, la, sobre la repisa. En repisas, en las repisas. En las repisas. You have uh, 200 tablets. Two hundred tablets. Two hundred tablets. Ajá, two hundred tablets. Can you store the tablets on chest? Ah, ok, yes, yes, no, yes, yes. Ya, ya, no, ya, 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 ya entendí. Sí, ya la entendí. Ya, ok. okay. Ya. Can you store the tablets on shelves? Yes or no? No, teacher. No, verdad? The 200 no. tablets? No. Sí. Yes. They can get broken. So no, they, you can. But it's not a good idea. Right? It's not a good idea to keep them there on shelves. Okay. Check it. We are using can to ask for information. Must information. I would say you're asking for permission, right? In some cases. Uh, where can I stack all the new products? Tell me, where can I, can I do that? When can I stack all the new products? When? Where can I stack the televisions? Where? You told me that I can stack the refrigerators in the warehouse. And what about the televisions? Where can I stack the televisions? Where? Can I stack the televisions in the office? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Can I stack the televisions in the office? Yes or no? 
No, we can't. No, verdad? There is not enough space. Can I stack the televisions in the warehouse? Yes, I, I can. Okay, yes, I can. Now, when we're talking about possibility, look, can you stack all the new products? Well, is it possible? That's what I what I'm asking here. Is it possible for you? Right? Is it possible for you alone to stack all the new products? Yes or no? You have 200 tablets, 100 televisions, and 50 refrigerators. Can you stack all of them alone? Is it possible? Yes, it's impossible. In two weeks, maybe. Right? In two weeks. In one day? Hmm. No. It's not possible. Okay? So, remember, we're talking about possibility when I'm going to open a new page to see this. Yes, there Okay, let's talk about possibility, right? Let's talk about possibility. Possibility, let's make it bigger. We sometimes, when we talk about possibility, we can use a can or you can use could. Can is for the present, could is for the past. Yeah? So you say, can I, can I go out? Is it possible for me to go out? Can I open the door? Is it possible for me? This can also be taken as a permission, right? Teacher, teacher, excuse me, yeah. I don't see nothing in the... You don't see anything. Let me... Oh. I'm going to share again. Me dicen si ven. Yes. Okay, perfect. By checking. Possibility, we can also use permission. And what is the other one? Ability. ¿verdad? Estos son los, los usos de, de can. If you say, can I go out? Is that possibility, permission, or ability? Mm -hmm. Fíjense, hay muchas veces en lo que es igual o es parecido. Va a depender del momento o de la situación que usted está en la que está hablando o lo que está expresando. Por ejemplo, possibility is if, if I say... Eh, we can we can let me let me think
We can open the door of the office, right? Is it possible to open the door from the office? Yes, but also <laughs> I have permission to open the door from the office. See? What is possible for you? En otros casos, usted va a ver el, el can con el meaning de mm, it's okay. Teacher, excuse ah, me. Dígame. Um, ability in English no lleva la H. No. In okay. English, no. Thank you. In Spanish, yes, but in English, okay. no. Okay, okay. When I talk about ability in English, for example, if you say I can swim, I can swim. I can dance salsa, right? I can dance salsa. I can play soccer. Eso es ability. En determinado momento, eso se puede convertir en permission. Cuando usted dice, I can swim in the pool of the school. Allí ya no es ability. I yes permission. I can swim in the pool of the school. I have a permission and I can also say that it is possible to swim in that pool. Es posible. Y por eso es que les muestro todos los, todos los usos de quién, porque no siempre lo van a encontrar solo como possibility. Algunas veces el quién les va a aparecer como permission, ¿verdad? Y también como ability. Como possibility, el quién se puede... Eh, intercambiar con el could, dependiendo qué tan formal quiere ser, ¿verdad? Si quiere ser más formal, va a usar could. Si no, puede usar can. Como permission, el can se puede intercambiar con el may. Por ejemplo, cuando usted may dice, eh, may I go out? May I go out? Mira. Vamos a pasar para allá la parte aquí. May I go out? Yes. Si usted dice, may I go out, va a decir, ah, Permission, ¿verdad? Y si lo ve con qué? Igual, permission, pero en una forma informal. ¿Sí? Si usted quiere ser más formal, puede decir, could I go out? ¿Sí? Is it okay for me to go out? Is it okay? Pero cheque, si yo estoy usando el can, cuando yo hablo de, de ability, yo digo I can't play tennis. I can play soccer, but, el but, I can play soccer, but I can't play tennis. En este caso, el can't, bien galán, ¿verdad? El can't. Es ability, lack of ability. No hay ability, ¿verdad? Puedo jugar soccer, pero no puedo jugar tenis. Así como cuando hablábamos del have to. El have to en affirmative es obligation, pero en negative es no obligation, es el, el de opposite, ¿verdad? Lo mismo pasa acá. Si yo tengo can, can can be ability, I can play soccer, 
pero también puede ser lack of ability. No tengo la habilidad de jugar tenis, no puedo. I can play soccer, but I can't play tennis. Acá no pasa nada. El can't simplemente se convierte en el opuesto a can, en la firma, que es que no tengo la habilidad. Pero si usted ocupa el can cuando está pidiendo permission, en ese caso el can se convierte en prohibition. Check. Si yo digo, I can swim in the pool of the school. I can. I have permission for that to do it. It is possible to do it. Puedo hacerlo. Sí, puedo hacerlo. It is possible to swim in the pool of the school. And I have permission to swim in the pool of the school. Y fíjense, se lo pongo así para que vea usted que no... Eh, algunas veces el can como en este caso de esta oración, puede referirse a posibilidad que es posible nadar en la piscina del, de la escuela. Es posible nadar o meterse a la fuente que está allá en El Salvador del Mundo. ¿Es that posible? ¿Mm? Impossible. It's not possible. No possible. Sí, que se ame, I can swim in the pool of the school. But I can't swim in the part time or lamp. Excuse me. Para diferenciar el, el poder y el deber, porque sí se puede, pero no se debe. Ah, you can, but you can't, ¿verdad? You can't is prohibition. Okay. En este caso... Eh, fíjese, deber es have to pero acuérdese que si have to lo ocupa en negative se nos vuelve en, en no obligation ¿Sí? en, entonces si usted dice no se debe, you mustn't sería el modal correcto you can swim because you have the ability to swim no, because you have the permission. Ya. Yeah? So, yeah, you can swim in the in the fountain that is in Salvador del Mundo because you have the ability, but no because it is okay. Ya. Yeah? Or no because you have the permission. So you don't have the permission. You can't swim. And you say, mm, I can't swim in the, fount in the fountain that is in Salvador del Mundo. I can't swim. I have no permission. That means it is forbidden. Forbidden means prohibido, right? There is a prohibition. So I can't swim in the fountain, in the fountain of, that is in Salvador. So you see the difference? Pues en este caso, Is it possible? Can be possible. Can I do I have the ability? Probably, yeah, if you are a good swimmer, you can do it, you have the ability, but you don't have the permission and it's not okay. Right? Is that clear for you? Mm -hmm. For example, when you tell me, teacher, can I complete the platform until Saturday? Mm, I will tell you. Not possible, right? You can't. It's not possible. En ese caso, no voy a usar el can't como prohibition. ¿Verdad? Lo, me suena más a prohibition el can't cuando lo ocupo opuesto a permission. ¿Sí? Pero si usted me dice, can I, can I complete? Complete. The platform. On Saturday. ¿Qué le va a decir la teacher? ¿Mm? 
can't. You can't. No, you can't. It's okay. not that. Can, but no, it's correct. That is not correct. No. I will definitely tell you, mm -mm, you can't. ¿Por qué? Porque no me está pidiendo que si está bien. No, no me está preguntando por si tiene la habilidad de hacerlo, sino que si es posible. Right? Is it possible? Esto sonaría así como. Is, is it possible to complete the platform on Saturday? Is it possible? Is it okay to complete the platform on Saturday? And I will tell you. No, you can't. ¿Por qué no you can't? No estoy hablando en este caso en can't como provision. Estoy usando can't como is not possible. Is not possible and it's not okay. ¿Ya? Entonces, si yo si me dice, hey, can I swim in the fountain in the fountain that is in Salvador del Mundo? No, you can. No, you can't. You can't swim in the fountain that is in Salvador del Mundo. There is no permission. It is pro prohibited, right? It is prohibited to swim in the fountain that is in Salvador del Mundo. Can you dance? Can't. Pero en that case, can't no es prohibition. Mm -hmm. It's not prohibition. It's a, tampoco it's a, is, eh, it's not possible. possible. It's, it's, ability. it's ability. It's ability. I don't have the ability, right? Can you play a musical instrument? No. Oh, yes. Can you play a musical instrument? Sí, no. I can't. You can't. Okay. So you say no. I can't. I can't. No, I can't is a lack of ability. Or if you say yes, I can, it's ability. Any question here? No question. No. Basha. Vamos a hacer un par de ejercicios de libro. Y después vamos a hacer unas prácticas que les traje para que vayan diferenciando cada uno de los usos. Ok. Bye. Let's do the following. And write a question for each of them. Cheque que algunas son yes no questions, ¿verdad? Y otras son information questions. If the answer is yes, that means you need an information question. Digo, a yes no question. Yes or no? Yes. That's a yes no question. If you begin like this, that's an information question. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let me know when you're ready. Lo corto de Jalo, lo corto de Jalo. Y la mamá no la ve. ¿Lo? ¿Por?
En la primera teníamos que hacer la pregunta. Yes. All of them are questions. Ah, uh, oh, okay. All of them are questions, but okay. you okay. have different types of questions. One. Okay. If, uh, can you store um, the first? Can uh -huh. you store them in the park room? Or I confuse. Uh, remember, mm, if, if you make a yes no question, the answer will be yes or no. Um, right? That's the characteristic of a yes no question, that the answer is uh, yes. Okay. No. If the answer is a C, direct, that means that you need the, uh, you're asking for information, right? Okay. I am going to send you to the rooms so you help each other and you compare the answers that you have. Okay, let's see. We're going to make groups of groups of three and four. There we go. Try to join. Remember, compare your answers. Well, compare your questions in this case, but right? because you write questions, and then you come back. Want to join? About five minutes. Try to join again. Five. Estoy viendo el muchacho. Ok, Mauricio, Dennis, Darling, Walter. Ah, Carla. Carla va a ser ya, ¿verdad? Hay que join. Manchips, Mauricio. Mauricio, Mauricio, Darling, Dennis, Carlos. Hola, teacher. Es que hoy soy de oyente, teacher. Perdón. Ok. Yes. Así que... Aquí estamos. Ya copié las preguntas, pero todavía no he terminado, no he terminado de copiar así las respuestas. Don Eduardo. Este, no sé si le capté bien la, 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 lo que ella nos solicita. Es de armar las preguntas, creo yo, o es de responderlas. Es de... de formular las preguntas, creo, ¿verdad? Porque no las respuestas. Es de hacer las preguntas, porque la respuesta está... Esa es la que tenemos, ¿verdad? Sí, es. Exacto. Ok, y entonces, y la primera es... Yo entendí que era de armar la, la, la interrogante. Sí, es. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Sí. Vale, entonces yo le puse así. You can store in the back room then. Porque se está refiriendo a objetos. No puede ir después del verbo ese nombre como le podríamos decir porque no no es no es 
no es verbo. Así lo entiendo yo. No sé Vaya, si estará pero, bien. pero están haciendo una pregunta, Edgar. Mire la pregunta que vimos al principio relacionada con el cuadrito que teníamos de la tablet y de la y de las televisions. Creo que hubo un problema o algo así. Tenía Where can you store all the new products? Uh -huh. Exacto. Where can you store them? You can store them in the back room. Ajá, vaya, les decía yo, la, donde ven la respuesta, yes o no, ahí tiene que escribir una pregunta como la que estábamos haciendo hace un ratito. Can you dance? Can you swim in the pool? Pero si la pregunta le, le o sea, si la respuesta que le dan es, you can store the televisions in the warehouse, su pregunta sería, where can I store de, de televisión ¿Va? sería de pidiendo información where can I store the television you can store the television in the web ¿Va? entonces uh -huh. solo la, la número 2, la 3 y la 5 serían ya eh, respuestas yes, no tienen ah, no, tres son... que son yes, no questions, pero questions. Ustedes tienen que escribir la pregunta. ¿Se acuerdan cuando yes les... or no question? Vaya, ¿se acuerdan cuando les pregunté? Can you swim in the pool, in the fountain that is in Salvador del Mundo? ¿Qué me respondieron ustedes? No, I can't. No, I can't. ¿Verdad? Esa es la respuesta. La pregunta es, can you, porque lo que yo espero es que usted me responda que sí o que no. Pero en la double H, lo que yo quiero es que me diga información. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, when, when can we meet? Que usted me dice, we can meet on Saturday. Where can we meet? We can meet in Metro Centro. Right? Entonces, ahí yo le estoy pidiendo información. <coughs> ¿Ya? Así es lo que tienen que ir viendo ustedes. ¿Qué tipo de pregunta es la que tienen que hacer? Aquí ya me saqué cero, ticha. ¿Cómo? Aquí ya me saqué cero, le di. Nah, es que nah, trato nah. De, 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 de captarle lo que usted me nos da a conocer. Pero ando más perdido a saber, teacher. Ahí sí me quedo mal aquí. Vaya, revisa. Por ejemplo, teacher, no sé Ajá. si ya le entendí. La, pre, la primera sería, la primera dice, you can store them in the back room. Entonces nosotros le agregaríamos, por ejemplo, el when. Where. Where. Where, ah, ¿dónde, where, ¿verdad? Where, where you where, can, where can you? Them in the back room. Where can you store? Where can you store them? Ah, uh -huh. where can you store the laptops? Where can you store the soap? Where can you store the televisions? Okay. ¿Ya? ¿Dónde puedo guardar? Um, y las, en la número dos, si se fija, dice, yes, she can. Su pregunta va a empezar con quién, no con where. Porque la respuesta es yes. Me va a decir, can she, porque la respuesta es, yes, she can. Can she take the phone? Yes. Can she sign the form? Con esa, 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 con esa
Can she sign the form? Yes. Yes, she can. She can. Yes, she, she can. can send. Yes, she can. She can send. Yes, she can. She can sign. La, la tercera sería entonces can. Can you? Can. Can you? Pero esta dice no we can, o sea. Ajá. No. Acuérdese que cuando usted pregunta, la pregunta siempre va a ser igual. La respuesta es la que va a variar. Debe ser así contigo. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, can you swim? Usted me va a decir, yes, I can o no, I can't. La pregunta no cambia, lo que cambia es la respuesta. Can you move it? Hold the television. Can you move all the televisions? Exactly. Can you move all the televisions? No, we can't. Muy bien. Así vamos. ¿Verdad? Los dejo solitos para que sigan. Ok, teacher, gracias. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Te, te está haciendo okay. daño el uno. No, no. Entonces, la número cuatro, don Edgar, vamos a... Ok. Um, bueno, ¿tenés alguna de ahí? La... la... La cinco, bueno, you can store the 90 cars on the warehouse. Yes. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yeah. Tenemos una duda. No, no sabemos si lo hemos hecho correctamente, teacher. Sí, veamos. Este, mm -hmm. Al principio nosotros habíamos entendido que teníamos que, que formular la pregunta en base a la oración que nos habían dado. ¿verdad? Exacto. Pero este, después eh, nos quedó la duda y nosotros creemos que eh, tenemos que ponerle si es permission, posibilidad. No, no, tienen que o la, No, están correctos. Tienen que escribir la pregunta. Ah, ah tienen, que escribir la pregunta. tienen que escribir la pregunta, exacto. Ok, sí. entonces. Si le dan, si le dan la, la respuesta, ustedes tienen que escribir la pregunta. Yo fui el que entendí mal porque si no estaba. Pensé que era, era que si se podía, qué tipo de, o si ibas a clasificar, si era ability. O, o, eh, no, ahí dice, llama, write, write a question, dice, write a question about it. Okay, perfecto, Ajá. Perfecto, sí, perfecto, entonces, entonces, la número dos, teacher, bueno, se me corrige, sería. Can she sign the form? Can she sign the form? Yeah. Can she sign the form? Sí. The form. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y la número uno sería que... Esa es in information question. Information question. Esa es information question. Porque lo que le están preguntando ah. es... Eh, ah, entonces sería where can. Exactly. Where okay. can, okay. Uh -huh. where can, uh, y chequen el verbo que, el verbo que están usando allí es store, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. cuando usted store. escriba la pregunta, sí, va okay. a usar where can we store, el que, y ahí pueden poner ustedes, okay. o solo le dicen them, Puede poner working we store the laptops, working we store the computers, working we store the, <laughs> the televisions. Puede ser cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Sí, hoy sí, ya nos quedó claro. <laughs> Gracias. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Sure. Right. Ah, pues ya, ya. Ya entendí. Sí, eh, sí. En la primera eh, había que agregarle eh, where o when. Where, entonces, where can we store the laptop? Teacher. Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Teacher, en la number one estábamos discutiendo con Bella. 
uh, in this case, uh, the sentences is the same. No, no tenemos que hacerle ninguna. Ah, pero lo que... Porque tiene... es una possibility. Lo que tienen que escribir es una pregunta. Ah, ok. Entonces, estaba bien como lo planteaba. Can you start then in the back room? In the back room. ¿Cuál es la... No. Es que la oración dice, you can okay. store things uh -huh. you in the bathroom. Information. Acuérdense que para la information questions, tienen que usar una palabra que lleve double H. What, when, when. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Tenía razón, entonces, Bella. Okay. En, la, en la otra donde dice yes, allí sí. Esa es una uh, yes okay. question. Y ahí sí va a decir, yeah. can you, o can we, o can she, can she. Pero okay. la respuesta es, yes, you can. No, you can't. Pero ahí sí, es una yes, no question. Ok, perfecto, entonces. Ah, pues Bella tenía razón, entonces. <ríe> okay. Y de, la última era también la número la cinco. Prácticamente sí, se tiene la cinco. Hay tres y tres. Uh -huh. Hay tres y tres. Ah, la cuatro también. Sí, ¿verdad? Entry information. Ok, sí. entonces vamos a revisar y ya vamos a hacerlos. Uh -huh. La primera podría ser when you store When can you store? Where can you store? El qué? Then in bathroom. O cuando dice then, ahí tengo que sustituir. Ajá. Where can you store? ¿Qué? Los ejemplos. The televisions. Where can you store the televisions? Okay. Where can you store the books? Where can you store the laptops? Ajá, entonces ahí usted va a reemplazar. Ok. En el número cuatro, Bella. Help me. Mía, where can they? Pero no sé si... When. Ajá. When can they pile up the boxes in tomorrow? La respuesta. Or what time? ¿Qué dice la respuesta? Ah, dice, yes, they can. They can. So, is it a yes, no question? Mm. Entonces, only can they pile up their boxes tomorrow? Mm. Ahí lo que tienen que ponerle atención es al tipo de pregunta. ¿Qué tipo de pregunta? Según la respuesta. Se podría, who can they, no. La respuesta es, ¿cuál? They can, yes, they can. ¿Cuál, cuál? Number four. Number four. When, porque dice tomorrow, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. When when can they can pile they up the boxes? Pile up. When can they pile up the boxes? Yes, they can tomorrow. Podría ser la respuesta. Pile up the boxes tomorrow. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. 
Sí. La number five, where, where can you store the, sí, ¿verdad? 90 cars, uh -huh. on a warehouse. Sería, yes, can. Repeat the question. I can. O sería, uh, yes, I can, or no, no, I can, I can. Bueno, si es de ponerle la respuesta, sí sería yes, I can. Ajá. Ajá. O, o si no lo puede hacer. Ajá. Okay. O la no pregunta... hay. Ajá. Dime. Sí, la, pre... la pregunta sí es: ¿Can you store them in the back room? Si puedes, si puedes tú guardarlos en la parte de atrás. Entonces yo te pregunto: German, ¿can you store them in the back room? Ok, así lo teníamos y así lo tenía también la otra compañera. ¿eh? Pero, 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 ¿qué me responderías? Por ejemplo, yo te digo, Germán, ¿can you store them in the back room? Eh, yes, I can. Yes, ¿Eh? I can. Ajá, ajá, sí, está. Ajá. ¿Eh? Así Entonces, sí, ya. Vuelvo, vuelvo por eso, ¿verdad? Digamos, para mí, eh, esta, es la, esta es la respuesta. You can. Y yes, I can. Entonces, ahí sería, por eso, volvemos a lo mismo. <coughs> A ver si logro entenderme. A mí me cuesta un montón explicarme. Ve, eh, digamos la pregunta, ahí sería quién, bueno, si ten, tenemos en base la respuesta, eh, you can store them in the back room, ¿verdad? Usted puede guardarlos en el cuarto trasero. ¿verdad? Entonces sería, ¿dónde puedo yo o dónde puedo guardar esto? No, solo, solo te pregunta si la posibilidad de, de, de guardarlo. Solo es si, uh, si es posible. Que one, lo ok. One. Yes. O can I. Juan está correcto, Germán. Uh -huh. Where? ¿Dónde? Sí, so teacher. You see the, the answer is you can store them uh, in the back. You can store in the back room. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. La pregunta This is, is the affirmative sentences. La pregunta es dónde. Ok. Where, where can, can, can where, sería where can, where, where can you store, where can you store them in the back room? No, no diga in the back room porque esa es la respuesta. Ah, Ajá, ok. Entonces solamente where can you store y ahí puedes decir the books, the cars, the okay. pens, the, the, the computers. Where can you store? Y, y ahí va cualquier cosa. Where ok. Can you store the books. ¿Se mantiene la segunda persona, el singular? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Uh -huh. you, can, you use the same. Ok. Where can you well. store the computers? You can store them, como dice them, puede ser cualquier cosa para tu pregunta. Ajá, ok. Where can you store the computers? You can store them in the back room. Ajá. Esa es la respuesta. Ok, ok. Where can you store them? The iPhone. The phone. Where can you store the iPhone? Ok. You can store the iPhone. Where? Ready. In the okay. bathroom. In the bathroom. Ahí uh, podría ser también, en vez de decir the bathroom, podría ser the, the warehouse. In the warehouse. Sí. In the the warehouse. warehouse. Pero como yeah. esa es la respuesta que ya le dan, ¿verdad? Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Number two. Um, um, she can sign the form. Ella puede firmar la forma. Ahí sí yo le había puesto... Where can she sign the form? Ah, cheque la respuesta. La respuesta ahí es yes. Yes, ella. Yes, ella, she well. can. Can mm -hmm. she? Esa es una yes, no question. Yes, no question. Can she yes. sign the forms? Ah, pues la tengo. 
Can she, Sergio? Can she sign the forms? Can she sign the forms? Can she sign the forms? Yes, she can. Okay. Yes, Sergio. Yes, she can or no, just no count. Yes, she That's can. Correct. No, she can. Mm -hmm. Can she sign the form? Yes, yeah, she can. She can sign the form. Ahí ya le están dando una respuesta más larga. Okay. Uh, number three. Uh, can we move all the television? We can move all the television. No, we can't. We can move all the television. Pero entonces ahí sería otra vez, but can we, can we move all the television? Mm -hmm. no, yeah, entonces, no, we can't. No, we can't move all the television. Can we move? Y la número cuatro dice. Eh, quedó, Germán. Ok. <coughs> Sería para. Ok, everybody here. Well, almost. Almost every part. Mm -hmm. A ver, tell me what is number one. Number one is where can you store the, bueno, nosotros pusimos the, the laptop. Okay. Where can you store the laptop? Very good. Where can you store the laptops? You can store them in the back. Where can you store the books? Where can we store the televisions? Cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Esto puede ser eh, sustituido por cualquier cosa. Number two. What about number two? Can she sign the form? Can she sign the form? Yes, she can sign the form. Very good. Number three. What about number three? Can you move all the television? Mm -hmm. Can you move all the televisions? No. We can't. We can't move all the televisions. And number four. When, when can they pile up the boxes? Uh-huh. When can they, can they pile up all the boxes? When? Tomorrow. Right? They can pile up all the boxes tomorrow. What about number five? Number five, five where can you store the many cars out? Can you store the 90 cars on a warehouse? On a warehouse. Can you store the 90 cars on a warehouse? No sería, can I, can I store? Where? Yeah, where, where can, can I, I, right? Where yeah. can I store? You can. When, uh, when can I you store? Ser, I podría ser we también, ¿verdad? Puede ser I o puede ser we, porque el we está como, eh, el you can be singular o plural, right? So where can I store the 90 cars or where can we store the 90 cars? What about the last one? Can you give when me you information, information of, the of the product? Mm -hmm. You give me information of the products. Yes, I can. I can give you information of the products. Any question? Check. Possibility. Permission. Digo, uh, information. Information. Where can I pile? When can I pile? Where can I put this? Eso ahí está pidiendo información, right? You can put it in the background. You can store it in the background. 
You can keep it in the in the safe. Okay, any question here? Or see? No. No question. Bye. No question, teacher. Nice. Nos vamos a ir al próximo. Check. We have, I have a couple of exercises here for you. You're going to complete them using can or can't. I, remember we have been talking about possibility, ability, permission. So what about here? I, only English, I don't know any other languages. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can only speak English. Yes. I can only speak English. I don't know any other languages. What sports? What sports? What can you? Can you play? Play. Mm -hmm. you play. Sports can you play the best? What sports can you play the best? Number three. One B. Papa. Can be. Adult. 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 Man's best friend, but it can't help with the she laughed. Look, we have to put a a lavar. Ah, number four. Can't. Can. Fish can't buy. Fish can't. Sí. Number five. Can. Can. Can you cook? Can. Can. Can you cook? Can you cook? Can you cook? Maybe. Can you cook? Can. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you cook? Yes, I can. Yes, yes I, I can. Okay, very good. Now, look at number four. A baby. Can. A baby can, can. drive can. a car. Ah, a baby can. Can. can drive a car. Five. Parents are very small. The letters are very small. I can't. Can't say that again. Can't. can't read anything. Can't. can't read anything. Very good. I can't read anything. Now, Dennis doesn't want to go swimming with us because he he can or he can't. 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 He can't. Swim. He can't swim. He can't, he can't swim. Because he can't swim. Very good. What about number eight? It's really dark here. Can't. I can't see anything. I can. Okay. Yes. I can't see anything. It's not possible, right? Is this possible? Yes. It's possible. It's possible to see, right? I can't see anything. Number nine. Number nine. Your car here is. You can't. In este caso, can't is prohibition. Prohibition. Uh, uh, parking your car. Okay, it's prohibition. It's prohibition. 
Okay. Number okay. 10, I'm very hungry. Hungry. Uh, I can't. I can't. I can't. It's prohibition. Ah, I can. That's affirmative. Okay, this say I can eat. It's every... affirmative. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very hungry. I can eat everything. I can eat everything. Nosotros decimos, me comería una vaca. Eleven, a chira. Can run very fast. Can run. Can run very fast. Can run very fast. Can run very fast. Ability. ¿Verdad? Ability. Sí. ability. Number 12. Can you help me? Can, can you help, help me? me? I can't I mean, yeah. that's my work, homework. Number 13. I can't. I can't. I can't do my homework. It's too difficult. So it's too difficult. You do your homework? Do my no. homework. Homework. Do your homework? Yes. Oh. Eh, tareas. Sí, pueden hacer su tarea. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, you can. It's easy. I can. It's very easy. Today, the homework is about ability. Ability. Okay. Now, again, can or can't to talk ability, possibility, or permission. Ability, possibility, or permission. Acá, we are going to do something. Les voy a mandar algo. I want to send you a link right now. Ah, I'll, I'll, I'll WhatsApp something. Do the test. Check, check that you can enter. Lo vamos a hacer online, más fácil. Me dicen si han logrado entrar. Yes, teacher.
no cómo van Hey, hey. Hey. hey, that's great. That's great. What about the others? How are you doing? I'm sorry, I have six. Cheque ahí, eh, ¿qué fue lo que pasó? Yes, I, I. ¿Ya vio el, en qué se equivocó? Ajá, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the idea, right? That you can see uh, what happened there. Yes. El mamá de los demás. Interesting, interesting exercise. I like. Excellent. <laughs> But Eight of ten. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. That's a good score. Thank you, Miss. Welcome. Es que así no se me cansan, solo de estar escribiendo. You can do it in a different way. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yeah. una consulta, en el test que envió al WhatsApp, eh, vamos a hacer <coughs> uno, dos y tres, de los que están. Only one, only the first one. Ah, oh. ok. Yeah, des después pueden hacer los otros, si busquen. Ok. Yeah, but for the moment you can do one The second part is putting in order, right? Well, writing the, the yeah. possibility of permission, using the prompts to write the sentences. Teníamos que enviar captura de pantalla de cuánto era la nota que nos daba, teacher. No, no, no. Just for your practice, because it's, it's a little bit okay. easier to do it that way. Okay, so let's move on to the next exercise. I don't know if everybody finished. All of you finished. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
everybody finished? Yes. yes. Okay. Now look at this. Oh, it appeared with the answers. Possible. Yes, a moment. Again, we will use can of can't, right? To complete the sentence. Okay, now ready to go to the next exercise here. So we're using can or can't, right? To complete the sentences. Number one, birds can swim birds, or can't? Birds can swim. Yes, can't, birds can't. can't, right? Birds can't swim. Scientists? Can't, can't, can't know everything. Car mechanics, can't, 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 yeah, they can type very fast and they can answer the phone at the same time, right? Okay, engineers. Can. 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 can build a boarding. Uh, uh, pilots. Pilots. Can. 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 Pilots can. can fly a plane. It is possible, right? My mom. Can. can. Can or can't? Can. Can't. Help me with can. everything. Can. Lawyers? Can. Lawyers can't save you from going to jail. Nurses? Nurses. Nurses? Uh -huh. Nurses can give can. you the two shots. A shot is an injection. Nurses can give you the flu shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dentists can. 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 Yeah. Dentists can fix the teeth. Okay, chefs. Can. 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 very delicious food. Electricians. Electricians. Can. Can. Yeah. Yes, they can build electric whitings. Any question, dear? Any question? Mm -hmm. No. No. Question. No question. Okay, very good. Now, what do you have any questions about today's topic? 
Do you have any questions about today's topic? No? Yes? Uh -huh. No questions about today's topic? No question, teacher. Okay. okay, perfect. Now, tell me present. I'm going to pull attendance. And you tell me present. Hey, Bella Lisette. Present. Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto. Lugia. Yeah. Present teacher. Okay. Darling Jasmine. Present teacher. Denis Adonai. Present teacher. Edgar Eduardo. Present teacher. Gabriela Stephanie. Gabriela Stephanie. Julia Gabriel. Herman Agustin. Present teacher. Jessica Raquel. Present teacher. Carla Maria. Present teacher. Yes, Carla Maria. Kelly. Kelly Good Marcia. night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Kelly. Marcelo Vladimir. Good night, teacher. Mauricio Ivani. Mauricio Giovanni. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Moisés Elías. Present teacher. Tienen guantes, chicas, para los trastos. Norma Maritza. Norma. Norma Maritza. Present teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good night, good evening. Hoy sí, good night, good evening cuando vienen y good night cuando se van porque hoy sí ya van a dormir. ¿Verdad? Thank you. Yo todavía no, pero ustedes sí. Así. Directo, ¿verdad? La cama. Ok, Pedro, Antonio, y no veo Pedro. Pedro, no hear Pedro. Ronald. Josué, Ronald Josué, yeah. Sabrina Lisette, present, good night, good night, Tamara Lisette, present teacher, Valde, Waldemar, Waldemar o Valdemar, 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 pero no sé, pero no como es. Yes. Sí, también se puede. Ah, ok. Eh, eh, present. Walter. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Excellent. Hoy se queda conmigo, darling. ¿Verdad? The rest of you have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Miguel. Hi, darling. Hi. Hey, Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Give me cuenta. Aquí, teacher. En la casa trabajando una cosa. Oh. Okay. Tell me, do you have any questions? Any questions? Perdón. Do you have any questions? Eh, no le comprendo. Questions. Do you have any questions? 
si tengo preguntas. Uh -huh. Este, no, solo que todavía me está costando un poquito. Ajá. ¿Qué es lo que siente que le cuesta? Este, bueno, ahorita mi talón de alquiler es bastante lo verbo, familiarizarme con ellos. Ajá. ¿Qué puede hacer al respecto? Casi no le escucho, o sea, se le oye bien suavecito. ¿Qué puede hacer al respecto? Creo que estudiar Gracias. más. Vaya, estudiar fíjese más. que hay este videos que usted puede ver, ¿verdad? Y si el problema son los verbos, puede oír canciones y con verbos. Porque las canciones son así como más pegajosas. Eso le va a ayudar a usted para que se le queden más fácilmente. Entonces, en vez de estar preocupándose por aprenderse los así solito, que se complica más. Eh, sí. se puede usar ¿cómo se llama? canción pero usted anda oyendo las cancioncitas y anda repitiéndolas y cuando viene a sentir ya se va ¿verdad? entonces esa es una forma fácil de, de estudiar ¿no? porque si usted se pone a querer se los aprender así solitos eso se complica mucho más Sí, una consulta, esas canciones eh, en YouTube la busco. Sí, en YouTube ponga songs about verbs in the past. Or about ver, eh, verbs in past participle. Like the past mm -hmm. participle. Verbs. O verbs in the present. Y ahí va a encontrar. Y así se puede poner a repasarla, a darla escuchando. Se anda trabajando porque generalmente uno está ocupado. ¿verdad? Pero una cancioncita la puede andar oyendo en el círculo. Y así cuando venga a sentir, eh, ya se lo puede y la reconoce. Entonces, y de allí es a, a tirarse a ser la, la hablada ¿verdad? <ríe> en clase. Que aunque cueste un poquito, pero... El esfuerzo vale la pena. Cuando usted venga a sentir, va a decir, oye, sí, si ya no me cuesta mucho. ¿Verdad? Entonces, es normal que al principio cueste ese mundo. Pero con la práctica, eso se va haciendo cada vez mucho más. Fácil. ¿Verdad? Entonces, yo le animo a que pueda ver películas en inglés, o tal vez no películas completas, pero... Eh, Puede ver diferentes cosas en inglés y eso le va a ir dando como más. Eh, un nivel. Ok, más, Se va a ir familiarizando, ¿verdad? Se va a ir familiarizando con el idioma y, y se le va a hacer mucho más fácil, ¿verdad? Entre sí. más usted se vaya exponiendo al, al, al idioma inglés, se le va a ir haciendo más fácil eh, aprender. ¿Verdad? Eso es cuestión de, de, de exposición y de práctica. ¿Verdad? Porque así, okay. como, así como se dice, ay, no, porque es difícil. A los americanos también se les dificulta el español, ¿verdad? Y quizá, <risa> y quizá mucho más que, que a nosotros el inglés. Entonces, solo es cuestión de, de buscar de, la forma que se nos facilita un poquito más la práctica, ¿verdad? Para poder aprovechar el poco tiempo que se tiene para poder practicar. Okay. Y, y en la plataforma, ¿cómo le ha ido? ¿Ha logrado entrar a la plataforma? Fíjese que ya logra entrar, solo que aún no ha he hecho las tareas. Uh -huh. ya, ya lleva como la tres, ¿verdad? Sí. Y ya para el viernes tienen que estar terminadas las... Todas las tareas. Todas las tareas, sí. Entonces, ahí lo que puede hacer es sacar un ratito, ¿verdad?, para ir haciendo, para que no se le vayan a acumular todas para el viernes, porque no le va a tocar de ver así un más el viernes, ¿verdad? Sí, ya que mañana que descanse no puede realizar todo. Ajá, sí, ya el viernes ya quiere. Tranquilo. No sé si tiene alguna otra preguntita, Darling. 
Eh, no, más que todo lo, lo que le comentaba, los verbos me cuesta y como prácticamente todo va atado a eso, teacher. Sí, todo lleva a ver, Ajá, y entonces ahí es que yo me confundo eh, y como que como que me congelo qué es, que lo, qué es lo que voy a decir o cómo decirlo, porque en vez de pensar en inglés, estoy pensando en español y queriéndolo pasar a inglés. Entonces me confundo toda. Sí, eso le lleva más tiempo también. Ajá, y porque los otros compañeros veo que bien cabalos, o sea, ellos se expresan y dicen todo en inglés, bien tranquilos, y a mí me cuesta un montón porque lo que yo quiero decir, estoy pensando cómo lo voy a decir. Pero eso le va a ayudar, andarse exponiendo, ande, ande escuchando música, si le gusta ver TikTok. Trate de verlo en inglés, ¿verdad? Si le gusta ver videos de YouTube, trate de verlo en inglés. Entre más que se ande exponiendo al idioma, se le va a hacer mucho más fácil. ¿Okay? Así cuando menos, menos sienta, me va a decir, Tiche, ya soy libre. Pues sí, ya entiendo, ya no me cuesta. ¿Verdad? Pero, pero es así, un poquito eh, exponiéndose un poquito más. Y, y a los hipotes por eso les cuesta un poquito menos, fíjese, pero es porque ellos andan oyendo música, andan haciendo juegos, y los videojuegos están en inglés, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, eh, se anda exponiendo un poquito más al idioma. Entonces, en la medida en que usted se exponga un poquito más, se le va a hacer mucho más fácil. Y ahí, okay. si, si va a ver algún video, véalo en inglés. Si va a ver tele, véala en inglés. ¿Verdad? Para que se le haga mucho más, más fácil, ¿verdad? Así se le hace mucho más fácil. Y de ahí la niña va a seguir adelante a ponerse las pilas. No es fácil, ¿no? Yo sé. Pero tampoco es imposible, ¿verdad? Así que sí, sí podemos. Y sí, si tiene algún, alguna otra preguntita, Darby. Uh, no. Más que todo, solo eso. Ok. Pues, a ponernos un poquito las pilas y con todo, ¿verdad? Adelante. Ok. Así que, cuídese. Cuídese. Gracias. See you tomorrow in class. Good night. Good night. Take care.